friends and welcome back to my channel my name is Tiffany and in today's Sunday reset we have a bunch of groceries to put away got my grocery order this week I'm gonna go through my meal plan with you and as I have been trying to do this year I will try to link any recipe that I can for you down below hopefully that's been helpful for you we have recently at work started sharing what our meals look like at home what our menu plan looks like and it's been really helpful to just share ideas with each other because let's be honest Meal planning for your family can be very difficult. For me, with a family as large as mine, it is literally the bane of my existence. <laughs> so if you're like me, then this hopefully will help you a little bit. Um, I also have some new items to get put away. I went shopping with um, some of my friends on Friday and picked up a couple things from Pottery Barn. So I wanna wash those, get those put away. And tonight we are having dinner here at our house for Michaela's birthday. So she turns 17 on Wednesday. So when you see this video, she'll have already turned 17. So tonight we're having family over. So I'm gonna to try to get as much of my cleaning done before everybody comes so that I can just be present with everyone tonight. And then I can just do a little bit of tidying up after dinner and just enjoy you know some family time some lounge time before I go back to work it has been very heavy at work over the last week and a half and um, I just have to be fully present when I'm there and just kind of check out from like the rest of my life and then when I leave work I've been trying to just leave it there and be present here at home with my family and my mental health does better when I have had an opportunity to just reset my home, get a plan for the week. And so that is what I'm going to be doing today. I hope that you are here for it. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, the groceries are all unpacked, so let's just go over this really quickly. Uh, we've got carrots, some fresh green beans, strawberries. I've got the peaches that I like to eat with for a snack um, with cottage cheese, ranch dressing, grapes, kiwis, asparagus. We've got some mushrooms, thyme, an onion, car um, oranges. Brussels sprouts, lettuce, and for salads, uh, what is that? That is cilantro and tomatoes. Um, that's all like the produce, it's a lot of produce. <laughs> um, I did get some 
French fries from the freezer. My kids love these. We are gonna eat pierogies one night this week for dinner. Um, I'll go over our menu plan in just a second. Okay, before I show you the groceries, I'm gonna show you what we're having for um, dinners this week. I'm just gonna just say disregard the sounds in the background. Um, everybody has a friend over and it's just a little bit crazy in the house right now, but that's okay. Um, tonight is Sunday and um, this is, <laughs> I keep track of what I spent on my groceries, but um, this is a light week, but um, we're having steak and potatoes tonight for Michaela's birthday. I'm gonna make Brussels sprouts and green beans, I think. Um, tomorrow we're going to have butter chicken. It's this, um, uh, Indian recipe, Indian butter chicken. It looks phenomenal. It's a new recipe for us. It was, um, recommended and I cannot wait to try it. Tuesday, we're going to have chicken and wild rice soup. Uh, it's a Panera dupe and so yummy and extremely like filling and comforting. Uh, Wednesday, we're going to have pasta da Vinci, which is just pasta with like a creamy wine sauce. Absolutely delicious. Uh, Thursday, we're going to have sausage and pierogies with um, a vegetable that is a sheet pan meal. And then Friday, we're going to have carnitas because we never ended up eating them this week because it puts crazy down um, because this week got away from us. So we never ended up eating the carnitas yesterday or Friday. Like that's what we were supposed to do, but it didn't end up happening. So we're going to have them on Friday. I don't have anything for Saturday yet because I don't know exactly what we're going to do. And then Sunday is the Super Bowl and we are going over to um, friends' houses. So that is the plan. Let me show you our groceries. Let's start off with a produce haul. So we've got clementines this week um, and kiwis and grapes and strawberries. Um, I also got lettuce for salads. I got three bags of leafy romaine. I think I'm going to do Big Mac salads for lunch this week at work. Um, Brussels sprouts for dinner, celery for the soup, um, cilantro for the butter chicken, and tomatoes for salads, kiwi uh, for snacking, the mushrooms are for the pasta as well as an onion. Um, I always have onions on hand, so every time I use one, I buy another one. This is for the soup. We've got asparagus for, uh, I can't remember what night we're eating the asparagus. I think we're gonna make the asparagus with the sheep hand meal, I think. Um, carrots for the soup, and then two packs of green beans um, for dinner tonight and for the sheet pan, um, sausage and pierogies. And then coming over here, I did get some french fries. Um, I always just have these on hand for snacks when the kids like, or lunches when the kids make chicken fingers. Um, pierogies, we just went with cheese and potato for um, dinner. We're gonna make this with, it's, I said sausage and pierogies. We're gonna do a chicken apple sausage, vegetables, and pierogies on a sheet pan. It's delicious. Um, yellow um, golden potatoes for mashed potatoes tonight to go with our steaks. And then chicken thighs for our soup, our chicken and wild rice soup. Coming over here, we've got lemonade and I needed soy sauce. And I got Madeira, I'm sorry, Marsala cooking wine for our pasta. Danny uses the diced new potatoes for like breakfast burritos. Um, got some little miniature muffins for breakfast. My son Ryan loves these. Uh, Charlie food, popcorners, great snack. We love those as well as the Ritz toasted chips, um, eggs. We got crushed tomatoes, right? Yes, crushed tomatoes for the buttered chicken. Um, garlic, because I'm almost out. Rayos, this is the best um, like jarred spaghetti sauce. I try to just have this on hand because anytime I'm trying not to cook or not in the mood, that's really easy to throw together. Orange juice for breakfast, um, butter, cheese, heavy whipping cream, sour cream, um, life cereal, because we've got plenty of Cheerios, but I got that for when we run out of something, so for something a little different. Um, I like these for breakfast. Some days, this is the Just Crack an Egg. I'll bring an egg to work and put it in here, and it's so delicious. Um, it keeps me full for a long time. Strawberry uh, 
cream cheese for the kids. They like that on plain bagels. And then my hazelnut coffee creamer. And then I did also get more chips. The kids take these to school for a snack. And then we got like cat litter and um, uh, paper towel, not paper towels, uh, toilet paper, that kind of thing. Um, I did also get new poofs for the showers. Um, you gotta replace those like fairly regularly. Um, and then I get plates. I always buy paper plates because we try to use these when we can. Like, you know, we don't use them for every meal, but just helps us with dishes on busy school nights. So let's get all this stuff put away. I've now shown you my meal plan. I'll have that all linked for you down below. Um, and we'll get the kitchen cleaned up. I do have to get some stuff out of the fridge. The fridge is pretty dirty. We need to clean it and get it organized. I'm gonna go ahead and take a second now to get the food put away. And while I'm doing so, I'm just kind of organizing. I had grabbed any leftovers that we had in the refrigerator and put them into the sink to be cleaned out. I try to do this at least once a week, but I have to be honest, you guys, I could probably afford it more often than that. I do try to have at least one day a week where we take all of the leftovers out, put them out on the counter, let everybody see what we have, and try to finish up as much as we can. There's nothing worse than wasting food, but it happens. <laughs> we do our very best, but not everybody in my home loves to eat leftovers. Are you a leftover eater? I definitely am. I try to pack leftovers for my lunchbox the next day, just make my life really easy, but a lot of people in my family do not like uh, leftovers. I would say probably three out of the seven of us don't, don't eat leftovers. So do you eat them? I would be very curious to hear. Once I was done getting all of the groceries put away, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the counters, get everything cleaned up after having all of those bags here on the counters. And I try really hard not to like pull things across the countertop. These definitely scratch very easily. You can't really see it unless the light is hitting it just right, but it's there. Danny grabbed a birthday cake from Michaela for later. so. That was there. I usually like to bake a cake, but sometimes there's just a lot going on and she's not really a cake person. She's an ice cream person, so we do that as well. The cake is really just for everybody else and for us to be able to sing happy birthdays. So don't have to spend a bunch of time on a cake for her because that's just not her jam. I have to be honest though, you guys, I can't believe I have a 17 year old. I don't know how I got this old. <laughs> I recognize that I'm really not that old. I'm 40, if you were curious. I turned 40 in November, but I just don't feel like I have been around that long, like I've been a mom that long. I still feel like I'm figuring it out all of the time, but I guess it's the truth. I guess I've been a mom that long and it's kind of crazy to think about. I'm using my Wyman stainless steel cleaner really quickly to just wipe down my stove and get that part clean. And then we're also going to wipe down the refrigerator.
I'm gonna go ahead and work on my dining room now. I am so excited, you guys, for spring decorating. I have been collecting uh, new decor and just kind of going through what I already have, looking for beautiful picture um, inspiration on Pinterest and Instagram and sourcing some new items. So I am gonna be sharing all of that with you here in the next few weeks. I'm so excited. I'm ready for the greenery to come back. We are supposed to be getting a snowstorm uh, the beginning of this week, so that's kind of a bummer. I feel like we have had the most gorgeous weather this weekend. It was almost up into the 60s, you guys. It was like high 50s and just gorgeous. I went out antiquing with my friends and it was lovely. Danny was outside playing soccer with the kids all day and prepping them for the start of the new season in the spring. I'm just so ready. I think that it's because this winter has not fully decided to be a winter. It's like had a few winter days. And because of that, I'm ready to move into nicer weather. I'm ready to hear birds chirping. I'm ready to have coffee on the porch. I am just ready for warmer days. So trying to enjoy as much as I can of the spring, but I'm ready for warmer days and I know that they are rapidly on their way. I'm going to take a second now to just dust off my little side table here. I purchased this on Facebook Marketplace. If you've been around You've seen its transformation. I did use some easy off on it to make it a beautiful wood color and it looked great. It just clashed with all the other woods I had. And so I painted it uh, with a milk paint in the color iron ore and it looks really, really beautiful. I love this. It might've been a chalk paint actually, but I think it looks gorgeous. It's a little formal to me, so I think I might be replacing it, but stay tuned. I'd like a little cabinet with some shelving inside and maybe some chicken wire. So we'll see what ends up happening there. We're going to move into my living room now that needs a little bit of attention and we're going to fluff up the couch. I need a new couch. This couch has been destroyed by both my children and my animals, but we're going to make the most of it. As you guys see, there's always some kind of fur baby just around. <laughs> so I had Charlie, my dog. She's a Chewini. She's there under the blanket. That's where she loves to be. And then the other kitty over there is my kitty Luna. And she's just enjoying her little spot on the sofa. And we're going to get some dusting in here done. We're going to dust off the fan. We're going to fix all of the blankets. We're just going to get things cleaned up. It really needed it. I feel like this is kind of a space that my kids clean most of the time. They will pick it all up, but they don't always wipe it down or put it away properly. Like here, they just shove everything into the basket. So sometimes it just needs a little bit of mom TLC. I have shown this nifty little fan uh, duster on my channel before. I got this at Home Depot and it works perfectly when you have a fan like this. So we love having a ceiling fan. Would I love to have a beautiful like chandelier? Yes, I would love a big, beautiful black wagon wheel chandelier in here. However, it's really nice to have the airflow. When it's cold, we turn it going one direction and it pulls all the heat up from the floor. And when it's warm, we have it going the opposite direction and it pushes all the air down. So it definitely is beneficial to have in this space. However, it gets really dusty and I try to do this, you know, at least every couple of months. I should probably do it once a month. It's one of those chores I should probably do once a month and 
maybe that will be my 2024 goal is to try to do it at least once a month. But using that tall fan duster makes it a lot easier. If I can find a link for it, I will link it for you down below. I have mentioned on my channel before how much I enjoy cleaning my home. I know that probably sounds silly and maybe a little trite, but I promise you, I find this to be so incredibly relaxing. I will put my headphones in always. Anytime you see me doing this, I have at least one headphone in. I listen to true crime podcasts. I listen to books on tape. I listen to reality podcasts. I love Nick Viall's podcast. I just love to listen to things and it's a great way for me to just, you know, get in the zone and clean my area, my space and feel satisfaction doing so. So I find this to be incredibly relaxing. I probably, it's probably why I like making these videos as well and why I enjoy watching videos like this because I find it to be very satisfying. I just put my stools up there on the island. Those are from Amazon and I picked any like dust and things that were off of the bottom and dusted that off. That's what you saw on the floor. And then I'm just going to come through with a vacuum and get it all cleaned up. I am trying a different handheld here. I was actually going to show this in this video. This is a new vacuum that we just purchased. Uh, this is a shark vacuum. It was $200 on sale at Target. I don't remember which vacuum this is. I want to say it's like their pro uh, animal vacuum maybe. It's very lightweight at the end, but the top is kind of heavy, so it's a little bit awkward to hold and I did not feel like it did a very great job. I know there's a lot of people that love shark vacuums. There are lots to choose from. This may have just been this one and that may be why I don't love it. However, <laughs> I think we're gonna return it and so I don't wanna like give it my endorsement because I don't love it. So it did end up dying on me when I was vacuuming here in this area in all of the vacuums defense i had not charged it yet so this is just whatever charge that it had and i should have charged it first but i didn't we had literally just bought it my daughter went and picked it up for us and uh so it's gonna die here i'm gonna put it away and then i'm gonna just bring out my dyson the dyson is fine it's just old and the battery is kind of shot i need to replace it so I can't vacuum on max because it doesn't last and it's just really dirty. It's had a lot of love. This is the Dyson now and it still works a million times better than that other vacuum, even though it's literally probably like seven or eight years old. So I do think I'm going to return the other one that I just got and just invest in a new Dyson. I was trying to save some money and do something a little bit different, but I... I just really love the Dyson vacuum. It really does such a great job. If you love a different type of vacuum besides the Dyson cordless, let me know. I'm interested in learning more. I'm willing to try, but I really do love this vacuum. So it better live up to the Dyson if we're going to try it because it's kind of a pain in the neck to return a vacuum. Danny's going to come in now and do all of the mopping. He's so great. I do not enjoy mopping. It kills my hands. I've mentioned to you guys before, I have arthritis in my hands and holding the vacuum or the, the vacuum is hard, but also holding the mop, especially after vacuuming, it's very difficult. So Danny's going to go ahead and mop. He does such a great job at using a lot of his brute strength to just push down and scrub 
the floors. I will say we did also just get a new robot vacuum. We ordered a new robot vacuum that has a mop on it. So stay tuned. I'm really excited about that too. You're probably wondering why do you need both, but we do have an upstairs. We do have stairs and carpet upstairs. So having uh, the other vacuum is also really important too. Now that dinner is done and the chores are done, it's time to pour a delicious glass of wine. I've got these new hammered glass glasses from Pottery Barn and I'm using my Island White from Newport that we just got on our road trip to Rhode Island. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. It's time to pour a glass of wine, sit down, dinner's done, the family's gone and I'm ready to veg out before the start of a busy week. Thank you guys for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I'd love to have you subscribe and come back for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, my friends. Bye.